Tasting Like a Boss Outside Edition, and it's a summary edition. Uh, we've spent the last week trying five different flavors, all in coffee three-way reviews. Trying them in cold brew, drip, and espresso. And if you look on our channel, you can actually see all five flavors reviewed in more detail on my initial reactions. I wanted to do this video to summarize each one all in one video for people who are trying to make a decision on what to get and also to express how my opinions have changed just a little bit and maybe give you some feedback from my family who their palates might be a little bit different than mine. The flavors we did were obviously by the Bones Coffee Company and they were Nightmare Before Christmas flavors. I was very excited when I heard about this. I'm a big Halloween fan. I love Nightmare Before Christmas. Bones is a coffee company that I trust. I like, I do not work for them. I do not get any payment from them or anything like that. I just happen to like their coffee. I like other coffees as well, but Bones has been a tried and true company and I love their graphics. I've always said that. But when I'm doing the coffee three-way, I'm trying to find out, is it something I'm gonna have and for what purpose? So let's go through them. We'll start with this one. This is Rough Weather. This is the oatmeal cream pie flavor. I was really excited about this one. Now, the cold brew wasn't horrible, but I wouldn't use it for cold brew. There are so many other options that bring out the creamy flavor. It doesn't work as a cold brew, at least as far as I'm concerned. And as the day went on, it didn't actually get better. It just was, eh, it was okay. Now, on the drip, it was great. I liked it a lot. The smell was great. It, it's just, it's worth it. This is definitely a thumbs up if you're going to be using it for drip. You can use it for espresso too. It's a little special, but again, I think if you're going to get this, use it for drip coffee, you're going to love it. Absolutely love it. My, my family adored it, so that's a winner. The next one was Frog's, <laughs> Frog's Breath, and this is a chocolate mole. So really what it is, is it's chocolate and spice. Uh, I can tell you that the cold brew, I think I said I liked it, but this is one of the flavors that as the day went on, I liked it more and more. So this is truly a viable cold brew, but it's gonna have a hard time getting it away from my wife because my wife loves this in drip and that's the way she has her coffee. She loves the dark chocolate aspects. She thought having that spice at the end was very, very interesting. And on espresso, it worked as well. So this is definitely one that I hope they keep for a while because I'm gonna be adding it to my arsenal in every way possible. And I just have to make sure I get a lot of it because my wife is going to want to take it. So that is a winner. So all three, check in the boxes. Mudslide Boogie. Okay, Mudslide Boogie, I wanna get it right. This is the one that's the um, uh, Irish cream liquor, coffee liquor, Irish cream vodka flavor. Okay, this is one that on the cold brew, again, I thought it was okay, but I also kind of said it was a lot like the Irish version of Highlands Grog, which I like as a cold brew. But this actually got a lot better throughout the day as well. I found myself really enjoying this more than I initially did. So it works as a cold brew. Now on drip, it works too. Although it was something that my wife had to get used to. She had first said that she didn't feel it had as much flavor as she liked. But as the day went on and she was drinking her coffee, she began to realize, you know, what, what did it was that the frog's breath had ruined her because this is a dark chocolate with spice. So there's a lot going on in your mouth. Then when this comes around, this is more like a milk chocolate. I mean, it's got the Irish cream as well, but it's more mellow. So if you're going right from here to here, you may not taste the flavors, but give it some time, it'll grow. Now this one here, uh, this is kind of interesting on the espresso side because it left the menthol flavor on the tongue. So it's an interesting thing to use for espresso, but uh, I'm not saying it's the thing to do. If you want to have it, you can. So cold brew works, drip it works. If you want to have it as espresso, fine. I'm going to jump ahead to the last one I did and then we'll come back. I think you'll know why. But here is the Pumpkin King. Uh, the Pumpkin King I was concerned about because Bones already has Jack O' Lantern, which is a really good pumpkin coffee. Uh, I'm going to have to do a side-by-side -side review of uh, Jack O' Lantern and the Pumpkin King because I don't know as I sit here today which one I like more. I like pumpkin coffee and I'll tell you what, this works as a cold brew. This was my favorite cold brew of the cold brews we have. Uh, coming in close second, probably the chocolate mole, quite frankly. Uh, but good cold brew, great in the drip uh, for me. On espresso, it worked as well. I, it was it was sort of a bam, bam, bam. But on the espresso, I will say, I wouldn't waste this coffee on the espresso. I, I just, 
why if it works so good in the cold brew so good on the drip if you want to have a different experience on the espresso go with the mole or the mudslide or something like that or maybe like even highlands grog this this is gonna be your cold brew and this is going to be your cup of coffee now there's a differing of opinions between myself and my wife my wife is not a big pumpkin fan she doesn't like jack on lantern she didn't really like this coffee but she did say that the nuttier aspects of this because of the pecan made it more appealing than other pumpkin coffees she has had she went on to say well i wish they just made a, pe a pecan pie flavor but of course when you got the pumpkin king boom you got to make the pumpkin king i get it so bring me bring us to the last flavor and that is santa jack this is the cranberry creme brulee so i will tell you these other four flavors bam 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 all winners this one is not it's just not i actually am concerned that maybe the bag i got didn't it was defective in some way um i thought it was interesting they went with a cranberry creme brulee i was looking forward to it i like cranberry i like creme brulee this didn't taste like cranberry it didn't taste like creme brulee for me it left me flat i might as well have just had a regular coffee that made my throat feel dry now my wife on the other hand had a different experience and she detests this flavor because she gets hints of amaretto i don't think they used amaretto in it i i don't smell it i think amaretto is used like in their holy cannoli flavor which my wife also dislikes but she did not like this one at all and this this makes me sad and here's why I can see people buying these bags and I can see people really being uh, attracted to this particular bag because it's Santa, it's Jack Skellington, it's everything else. And I would hate it for people's first taste of Bones Coffee to be this flavor because I think it would leave them thinking, well, there's not much flavor there. there there's not much here. It, it's maybe not a bad cup of coffee, but it's nothing special. And Bones makes special coffee. This for me is not a special flavor. So I'm afraid it'll turn people off. Now, why they didn't go with candy cane flavor? Probably because they already have a candy cane flavor. I'm pretty sure they do. I, if my memory serves correct, I think at one point they did. Maybe gingerbread, but they have a gingerbread flavor. I thought maybe fruitcake, but then that might be horrible because it's fruitcake, who knows? So what I would say is if you're getting these, these flavors, don't use this as a cold brew. Use this just as a regular brew coffee and chalk it up to, I got a cool label and it's an okay cup of coffee. Unless you don't like Amaretto or something like that or whatever flavor it is they have in here. Um, but uh, that, that's what I have to say. So I am very happy that I bought all these. I wanna say thank you to everybody watching the reviews and subscribing and hitting like. I'm gonna be taking a little bit of a break. I'm not gonna be doing coffee reviews every day next week. I'm gonna to try to go back to one review a week or one every two weeks. I've also had a few requests for um, uh, maybe some tips on cold brewing and stuff like that. And if you guys want that, I definitely will. So if there's any other flavors you want me to try that I haven't, hey, put them in the comments. Uh, I have a lot of other reviews in the past by Bones and other coffee companies. Uh, hopefully you like those as well. Share it with friends uh, and uh, more importantly, if you can get your hands on these, because I know some people are saying they can't, please do. Uh, I think you'll really, really enjoy the experience and uh, thank you for going on this journey with me, okay? Keep tasting like a boss.